Well, good morning again. This is Brian. I'm supposed to introduce me now. That's how this goes. Don't take this head that way of this shit. And I'm Mandy. And, <laughs> and we're digging in the dark. And so basically, that is just um, the name that we came up with to make it create an excuse for us to. It's all bullshit. We just want to bitch, really, and yeah, that's what this it's all is. Bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. We're going to start off. We got notes today. We got notes. Um, yeah. We're getting this down, and <laughs> we've got a serious situation on hand. We are real in episode two. This is a developing case that we got to get to the bottom yes. of. The mad pooper. There is somewhere, I'm not going to name where I work, <laughs> but I work at a pretty, pretty decent sized company. There is somebody running around my work. First, they were taking shits on the toilet seat. And I don't mean like taking shits on the toilet seat. Like this motherfucker was like, like they sit with their ass all the way on the back and they take a shit. They're where... basically snail trailing their asshole on the fucking toilet seat. Like they're, they're fucking paint brushing it with their ass. Yeah. <laughs> like that's what they're so doing. So it's like, like their fucking asshole is literally right on the edge of the seat. So the turd slides out, hits the seat and then slides against their shit. That's villain behavior. That and is. And they flush it like without turning around at all. Cause it's still there when the next person comes. That's and a... this has been happening for like. It's a menace. <laughs> for like two plus months. This happened. You now, guys haven't been able to narrow it down. No, to we it, got it down to like three guys. Right now, I fucking wish that we had a screen that we could cut to with like profile <laughs> pictures of all of them, where we could point out facts and tips and clues, We're complete with like what's the red strings that they use? <laughs> this string. They just use string with the string. The yarn. Yeah. Big. It's either got to be. This guy, this okay. guy, this guy. Write that down. We need to get pictures of all three right. of these men and string. some yarn. Pictures and Rain, yarn. String and yarn. I fake wrote that down. Listen, it's I'm going to get three <laughs> fake pictures. But then somebody, now somebody took his shit literally on the floor next to the toilet. But then they picked the turd log up and put it in the toilet and flushed it. So there was just... The shape of a human-sized turd. This is... That I had to just look at. Th I don't even... This is maniacal. <laughs> Whoever did this is a fucking lunatic, man. <laughs> and it was like seat, 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 floor, seat, seat. So it's like it keeps happening. I don't even... I mean, I told you I worked in a pub... And somebody shit at the bar on the floor. Like, I came out and I walked around. And I was only gone for, like, five minutes in the back room. Like, swapping out, like, empty kegs to get them ready for the guy to come and take them the next day. And I come out and the bar is completely empty. I'm getting ready to close. And so I start, like, you know, facing the bar stools in, like, the nice way. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I go to look down under my shoes because I'm like, I stepped in shit, I think. And there's a shit. <laughs> like, just a fucking shit. shit. Like, it was a fucking... It had to have it's been like human. someone just walked by and, like, and shit. shook their leg and it fell out. <laughs> it just, like, kept going. Like, oh, I, what is this? I, fucking, uh, me and Brian used to work with this lovely young lady who used to who? bake muffins for the bar. And she was very sweet and wholesome at first glance. I don't want to say her name, but um, was she Middle Eastern? She was, for certainly yes. Yes, and I she think told I me this story. that she okay. So she walked her, or she only wore like dresses a lot, like on her days off when she wasn't busy tending the bar, and she was out walking her dog, and she wasn't wearing underwear in her long, beautiful, flowy skirt, and she just the way she described it was a fucking phantom turd just fell out of her ass <laughs> like i'm like you couldn't hold it in she's like it just came out i don't even know what happened and if you knew I this not know dainty it's little it's got a whole like race track that it's got to go through before you, it gets to your you hole could, you literally have a sphincter that cuts it off or holds yeah. it it's a clamp you got a butt clamp like nature's gotta... clamp not her, apparently. No, it just and fell right through. if you understood what a dainty, beautiful little Persian princess this was, to hear the story come out of her, like, mouth, so proper, like, telling me, she's like, I just don't know. It just fell out. And I'm like, what fell out? She's like, 
a poop. <laughs> like a poop? Like a poop fell out a of your A single just, poop. Just one poop. One poop fell out one of my... One poop <laughs> fell right out of me butthole. Like she made it sound it's like... It's definitely a It was just like a, a big ass tunnel. <laughs> just boom. <laughs> It just plopped on the ground. That's fucked up, man. Did I tell you about the time I stepped in an open face shit diaper in Brevard County, Florida, in a pair of sandals, and my fucking... All this adds up. It's fucking horrible. All this screams Florida before you even said Florida, it was. Florida, man. Florida, I see you. <laughs> I see you. Yeah, man. I was waiting on a tow truck at a Walgreens because my car overheated, and so I'm having a bad day already, and yeah. I see the fucking cavalry, and I'm like, what? Because I've only been sitting here two and a half fucking hours, and I called you five times just to make sure you're still coming. So, woohoo! So I get out of the fucking car, and as I, I didn't even realize it, man, and I open my door and I'm just like, whoop! And I hop out and I'm wearing fucking sandals and just, and it's like Florida. So it's not like, this isn't like the kind of poop that's like, hard and brittle like no this is fucking this i've is been, poop that's been sitting in 97 degrees <laughs> degree weather just fucking not even melted and the if outside's just you kicking. are the kind of person that just throws a shitty diaper open-faced on the fucking hot concrete you're a fucking bottom feeder dude like put it in the appropriate fucking receptacle do not throw it in you a park at least put it in a paper bag or you know what bag, how about this if you ha just have to be if you cannot control yourself if you're the kind of fucking it's human being that lacks fucking decency roll it up or something don't just leave it open like that where my, it's, you, my fucking you're, foot you're supposed to roll it up and put the tabs back and then throw it wherever you want. Throw it wherever throw the it. fuck you want, man. Just don't leave it open. Like, it's just like they fucking took the diaper off, and they're holding it from both ends. <laughs> it's and it's just like, like oh, yes. I'm just going to leave this spread about right here and see what happens. You know what happens? Fell right off my, my fucking, ass. you burnt my skin off with child shit. Like, that's what fucking happened. And I was fucking traumatized. And if it wasn't for the 37 fucking open bottles of water that I never finished that are just rolling around my car, I don't know what I would have done, but I just fucking poured scalding hot car bottle water on my fucking foot so I could get the child shit off. So fuck you, whoever did that. Don't do that. Yeah. And stop pooping at Brian's job. We're going to get to the bottom of this. We're going to get to the bottom. This is an ongoing investigation. We'll have updates to come. We'll have updates every time someone shits. Does that say dick soup? Dick sleep. Oh. <laughs> it's my dick sleep position. Oh, uh, yeah. He's got a dick sleep thing. <laughs> Everybody, people know this. Or just men, really. That when you fall asleep, that you're going to get a boner no matter what. Mm -hmm. It just happens. And Jeff used to think it was funny to, like... Spoon Kimmy from behind at the bar when he got a bone because because he, <laughs> he'd be poking her in the back. That's sexual assault, by the way. That's our old boss, by the way. But you know, yeah, our boys will be boys. <laughs> you show me a boy that doesn't spoon people when he gets a boner. You show me a boy. You show me a boy that doesn't rub his erect wiener in a girl's ba back without her consent and like you know. I'll God. show you something. That was like every day in <laughs> high school. Every day. Every boy I ever saw was rubbing their wiener. They're fucking cocksuckers. But I mean, yeah, back to dick soup. Before men go to sleep, they, we gotta put our dicks in, in the right position or you're gonna wake up with your dick like fucking inside the bed. So, you know, I put dick, dick sleep down there. You gotta either put it up or down. It's either stomach oh, or Oh, so this is like a public service announcement. Like, you're just giving advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Not so much advice. We got just... positive stuff on this show. <laughs> like... It's either gonna be leg or fucking stomach. Yeah, man. You don't want it to be fucking go to sleep and it's in like a, <laughs> you know, like a all curled up inside your balls. You're gonna wake up <laughs> and fucking, your balls are gonna be the wrong way. Your dick's gonna be like halfway oh, inside your belly button. I'm smoking. Um, legal medicinal marijuana. <laughs> it doesn't need to be that. We live in New York. I don't fucking care. You I've... cannot, with no priors and no domestic dis domestic allegations. Shh. <laughs> I'm not alligated. <laughs> I'm not an alligator. <laughs> they're supposed. They're supposed to not arrest uh -huh. you. 
Yeah. But they'd probably still will, because... Where I live, yeah. they probably would. Yeah, where we live right now, too. I live in the seventh layer of hell. <laughs> Fuck the army, by the way. And for anybody that wants to challenge me on that... <laughs> you could find her. I'm pretty sure in the last video she... What's she our email? Said, What's our email? We got an email. <laughs> yes, the name of this show. Diggitinthedark at gmail.com. Challenge me. I will share with you all of my personal experiences about the I lack think, of fucking quality health care, especially in the behavioral health department. I think department there's a number in the one in there. Huh? I said I think there's a number one. What? After digging in the dark. You don't know our email address? No, it's in the notes that are in the fucking... I didn't write it down. We'll yet. get back to you on the email address because I want to hear from you. It's also 2018. You can just leave a comment. We'll just, figure just it out. You know what? Just fucking out. find us on Twitter. Don't be a bitch. <laughs> just bitch just message out. us on Twitter. Don't email us. Did, I don't even know how to fucking use email. I, this isn't 1997, guys. Listen, okay? I can't teach you technology. <laughs> Download it on your phone like everybody else. Right? I wrote my notes down on a fucking insurance and i can't even fucking come up with a fucking yeah. enough common sense to call it the dead sea scroll i keep calling it the dead sea squirrel like yeah. we got the dead sea squirrel with all we the got good the stuff fucking dead sea squirrel here next up i got written down handicraft handicraft what's happening i don't happening? even remember i just don't like handicapped people but i you don't know, remember why probably because i lived in bayonne new jersey for a time and everybody there knows that there's more fucking handicapped people than there is regular people. I don't dislike that place them. Is poison. I don't dislike. Everybody who ever cuts me off has a fucking little guy running in a running with the circle. I don't dislike handicapped people. And they're fucking slow. But I do dislike handicapped people that park in handicapped parking spots if they're not like handicapped Actually, to my standards. Yes, I have handicapped standards. Like if listen, your pinky is chopped off. Yeah, you get this the fucking hangy thing in your car, but, but that don't doesn't take mean the you spot. That doesn't mean you get to doesn't mean your legs have don't to work. walk ten feet. There's somebody in, with a real Listen, fucking man, wheelchair. Listen, if you got the carpal tunnel, who somehow managed to drive a car, I don't. And you could drive a car and you're in a wheelchair. You could fucking wheel yourself from the back of the lot too. You're not even doing any work. <laughs> <laughs> the chair is doing all the work. Right. Your no. arms are gonna be super buff. You could fucking do. You, hear, you could do a handstand all the way from the back. So you got handy. You want to hear one of the shittiest things I've ever said to somebody that was handicapped? Yes, tell everybody. I am gonna tell everybody what a terrible person I am. But in my defense, fuck this guy. He was an asshole. Like yeah, handicapped people so, can be assholes too. Yes, they can. And I was nine. 18 or 19 and I was in this bullshit gas station that I worked at in Indiana just waiting for like one of my 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 fifth license suspension to clear because you know I was an idiot because it was the 90s and yeah. um, so I'm working at this gas station and at four o'clock every single day it goes it went from um, them to be able to just pump their gas then pay to prepay so i couldn't even authorize the pump until like the money was in hand and it was like so far like like there was no exceptions whatsoever so this guy keeps fucking hitting the call button and every time i'm like responding he's bitching me out i can't see him he's standing there and his gas tank is like on the other side of his car so i can't see him and i'm like dude you need to come in and pay and he's like, what? What? Oh, no, you must be new here. I don't do that. I pump my gas and then I pay. Blah, 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 blah. So and so. And he starts like name dropping. And I'm like, yeah, I know those. <laughs> name dropping. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I know those people too. They're the ones that told me that I have to make you prepay. I don't I, know what to tell you. That makes you badass when you got a name drop gas station attendees. I know, attendees. gas station attendees that <laughs> probably have. Well, Bernie. Well, you know. Bernie, Bernie lets me do whatever I want. Bernie is also 27 years old and he lives in a studio apartment and might or might not have a GED. So fuck you. I'm fucking 18 and I'm just waiting to get out of here so I can go to college in Orlando fuck this shit so anyway um so this motherfucker he's yelling at me and yelling at me and so finally he was like this is so fucked up he's calling me he's like bitch this bitch that blah blah blah, blah. and I'm like oh hell no now you are walking your happy ass up here and he fucking comes around the car and immediately I feel like a dick because he's got one leg and like <laughs> Uh, one leg and then he holds his other half up on a crutch he just has like a nub hanging there and he's coming at me so fucking mad and he gets up to the fucking glass and thank god there was like you know the fucking don't rob me glass there so he's fucking like fucking punching the window he's like bitch what the fuck is wrong with you and i was like nothing i have all my legs <laughs> Problem. 
man. What do you expect me to do? Right. And, and it's like, he wants to give me attitude. Either way, he was coming up to pay. It just, it was, the order was different. Like, you had to pay first and then pump. But for some reason, he wanted to That's pump. That's what I've always done everywhere. Like, what a dick, right? Well, this was the 90s before that was a thing. It was just now becoming a thing because of all the drive-offs. And, but it was just, yeah. Was That's like, what I was going to say. Bitch, what the fuck is wrong with you? Nothing. I have all my legs. <laughs> I have so many legs. <laughs> Like a fucking spider. God, it must be lonely being that only leg. <laughs> it's gotta be strong as shit. What a dick. That guy was an asshole. <laughs> yeah, fuck him. But no, man, for the most part, you know, I support the handicaps. Yeah, you just gotta be the right kind of handicap. <laughs> Except know, it's just like any other thing, every other thing in the world. My last apartment was connected to a fucking bar downtown Orlando, and, um, the parking lot was always packed because it was in that area in Orlando, you know, where everybody wants to take all the parking spots in the whole wide world. And so, like, I took the handicap spot because that was the only one that was, for the most part, guaranteed to always be there. At any time, there was only one handicap, like, sticker guy that ever hung out at that bar. He would always take my spot, and I would get so fucking pissed because I, I would try to narrow him down like the mad pooper. Like, I would just be like, who is he? Who is he? Nobody in this establishment is handicapped enough to take my spot. So I would do, like, dick shit all the time and, like, block him in. <laughs> Just double park next to yeah, your would. whole shift. I would. Like, eh. Or I'd pull half my car up on the curb. Like. It's Orlando. You can do things like yeah, that. Yeah, you know, don't judge us, Most okay? You, you know what? Things. I was doing my job with the one leg guy, and he wanted to be a dick and call me a bitch. So, And then this guy took my spot, and I just, I'm sorry, I wasn't took convinced. Took my handicap spot. Wasn't convinced, man. But you know what? You give me a handicap sticker, I'm parking wherever the fuck I want. Dude, that's what they do. That's why I fucking bang on New Jersey, man. I don't believe them. There's more handicap spots on the fucking street than there is fucking people. Every house has, like, is a two-family house that has fucking at least two drivers each. So every house has no driveway and fucking four cars that all have to street park. And then there's, like, fucking handicapped spots that are, like, fucking... The size of a minibus. Because they got a fucking... I don't... For some reason, they don't think they can parallel park. I, you know... There's a fucking million of them. And don't then, live in a city if you can't parallel park. Maybe that's their handicap. They can't parallel park, so they get a sticker. I think I figured I, it out. And then they started looking around and bitching and asking the people. And they're like, yeah. And they're, they're, then when they leave, they just leave that spot up. So even if somebody new moves in, it's like they don't take the handicap spot away. So the town just fills up with more and more and more handicap spots as the years progress. Oh, so if somebody's lived in five different places, there's five yeah, different... They just, keep, they just keep putting them wherever the person That's moves. what the owner of the bar told me when I moved in there. He was like, you don't have to have a handicap sticker to park here because there's no ordinance code on it. Like, there has to be, like, an actual code on it or something. So he's like, it's more of a suggestion. Yeah. He's like, you park, girl. You need a spot. Like. Better not do that now or you'll get fucking shot. What it cunts. Conservative dicks. Like Aunt Wanda? Yeah, I'm still talking about her. Because <laughs> Aunt Wanda's a conservative dick. There's supposed to be a comma there. Listen, for anybody that doesn't know about Aunt Wanda... She is the poster girl of all that is wrong. She is the aunt that posts 30 memes in two minutes, and they're all extremely politically motivated. And they're like the kind of politically motivating memes that like pander to like people's awesome. irrational emotions they're fucking hilarious right. but they're terrible and they're dangerous because right. like people like her believe this shit and my aunt wanda just got caught this is how fucking like emotionally unstable she is she just got caught conspiring with my uncle to put a hit out on a woman for, <laughs> for what and, and like that's yes. the, the, like she's that shit crazy man this is like the world and i mean so there's your my fishes of the poster girl for every like crazy erratic emotional prick. So that's Aunt Wanda. We'll talk about her a lot. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna hear about her a lot. But I meant that as it's just conservatives, like, because they just don't mind their fucking business. Just mind your fucking business. 
You know if what? somebody wants to go out there and abort their 31-year-old kid, <laughs> let them. Let them. They gave birth to them. Doesn't matter if they're three days old Listen. or fucking 30. That fucking 90-year-old lady who just killed her fucking, like, 80-year-old son for, like, putting him in a fucking nursing home. Let's just let him do it. I mean... You should be able to kill your kids. Well, I don't think I'd go that far. Um, if they're dicks. If they're dicks. If they're dicks. Here. Come on. If I, your, kid, I, I, if your I don't, kid turns out to be a murderer, I, you got to... You gotta be the one to put them I out. I don't condone any kind of murder for the most part. You gotta be the one to put them out. But I'd murder my kid if they turned out to be a murderer. I don't think. Well, it consider, you gotta take into consideration the circumstances. Did that fool deserve to get murdered? You don't <laughs> want your kids out murdering. You might be murdering for the good. It's not technically murder if it's for good. Oh, okay, okay. Well, okay. So Murder's I just like a bad thing. I'm not like too big. You don't murder rapists. You kill the rapist. You put them down. Yeah. <laughs> but my whole point is abortion is not murder, okay? Oh, yeah. It's just it's not. Get over yourselves. Like it's fucking Mind not. your fucking business. Just if I wanna fucking you know what, if I wanna if, fucking have an abortion, I should be able to have an abortion because you know what? If you can't afford an abortion, you can't afford a baby. Yeah. It's like what the fuck They're is like two hundred bucks. They're I mean, <laughs> they're practically free. <laughs> They're practically free. And if you can't... Like, seriously, though. Like, if I... I'm telling you, I don't want this fucking kid. I know I'm not going to be a good mother. And so it's going to be a burden to society. And then it's going to grow up. And it's never going to take full responsibility because it hasn't been given the proper assets or tools. Because a lot of conservative pricks also like to vote in policies that don't allocate money towards continuing education or any city pro inner city programs or helping people that are, like, fucking affected by assholes like me that don't want them when all that could just be like you know what how about we start with the source and we flush it and then there is no burden to fucking society and you know what it never had a fucking face it wasn't like a real person i'm sorry there's no feeling in there that there's nothing there and if you want to chalk it up to like this god that you believe in give me fucking scientific proof <clears throat> that this god exists and we'll have that conversation. But otherwise, don't tell me what's right or wrong based on your fucking fairy tale because that's bullshit. Because science kind of fucking proves that there's nothing going on with that baby and the souls <laughs> and the fucking, like, just fuck off with your stupid fucking erratic yeah, emotions. Fuck off, conservatives. Read a fucking science <laughs> book and then come and talk to me. But don't talk to me about the Bible. Don't talk to me about Jesus. And don't fucking talk to me about what I'm allowed to do with my fucking body. Suck it. <laughs> And if men want to chop their dicks off, chop, let them. And if women want to get dicks, let them. Let them. Just Who gives a shit. I mean, as long as they're not doing it in like somebody's SUV down the road. I mean, <laughs> yeah, because that's not good. <laughs> that's not safe. That's we, not safe. We would like you that's to responsibly chop off you're your gonna, dick. Okay. Gonna, your dick's gonna be all gangrened up. Yeah, just fucking. That's gonna be terrible. Go to a licensed professional. What didn't Kanye West's mom get some dumb shit done and then she died? Was that him? I don't know. She got like, yeah, she died because she got some fucking, like, backyard like... abortion tummy tuck or something. <laughs> this was like a fucking hundred years ago. A hundred years ago. Yeah, man. Backyard abortion. <laughs> I'll gonna, look it up. I was going to say, normally you don't look up anything. We're not supposed to. Okay. But uh, you got to look that up. Cause I'm, I don't know. That does not sound true at all. To the least extent. It's totally true. <laughs> it's totally true. I'm telling you. Kanye West, a hundred year old mom, died. Yeah, she had some botched plastic surgery because she's a stupid bitch. <laughs> That's what happened. I don't know. I, I don't know if it was in the backyard anywhere. I'm just speculating here. But um, yeah, if you um, just fucking cut your dick off responsibly, it's not a big deal. Go yeah, to a it's guy. Okay. There's there's a guy for everything. There really is. There's a guy for everything. There's a guy for everything. My fucking this this guy. That have, I you, work have, with have you have you seen always the, has a guy for everything. Have you seen all the senators in America? They're all guys. Yeah, there's a guy. <laughs> there's a guy. You need votes. There's a guy. I need to know about the old lady. <laughs> the old lady on the freeway. Yeah, I read this article about this old lady, and then there was a video about this cop. It was a it was a good cop story, and it was like all right. It was a good cop. I'm getting somewhere. Because, you know, Brian hates cops. Brian hates cops. Dot but com. the story was all about how this old lady was on the freeway and her fucking 
battery died in her fucking handicap chair. And the cop... Wait, this bitch was driving in a handicap chair and not in a car? Yeah. That's so, not... And the story was about how the cop couldn't fit the car, couldn't or couldn't fit the handicap fucking wheelchair in the car, so he pushed it a mile and a half all the way back to her home. What an asshole. Like, I would have just called, like, an, am- an <laughs> so ambulance like, or backup. Ha, 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 thanks, NBC. Real nice, sweet cop story. Oh, this was a good story? Yeah. Aw. But then, but nobody questioned how this old bitch ended up on the freeway. That's why I'm so fucking, like... like how do you get all the way up on the freeway with your fucking... You saw this alarm on my face? They didn't even go that fast. I mean, she had to, like, go up on an on-ramp. That's what I'm saying. Fucking helix that's why I stopped you around. to clarify that she wasn't in a car. Yeah. She was just in so her little the, rascal. Just but rrr. that's like nobody else points that out. You stopped me halfway through the through the story to be like, how did she get on the freeway? Yeah, what's this bitch's backstory? But it didn't tell me anything. How old was she? Dude, she was like old five. enough to yeah. know better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she was driving up the shoulder of the freeway. Yeah, dude. When I was driving here, I have a very long get drive to there? get here. I saw a guy on 81 South, and, like, I, there was nothing for miles, and it was just one lone guy in this weird white outfit just walking down the fucking street with a bag, and it was like a grocery bag, and, like, for a split second, I thought, I just want to know his story. Like, I almost, like, stopped and picked this motherfucker up, but then I was like, I didn't see a car anywhere before or after, I'm sorry, the last exit, There sure as fuck isn't one for as far as I could see. Where the fuck did this guy come from? And he was on a fucking highway, like a major fucking highway with heavy traffic. And I'm like, yeah, that motherfucker will probably kill me. Oh, yeah. I mean, always the best, too. There's no way around it. So I just, um, you know, I was like, fuck you, you know. That's mainly why I do This old bitch. Like, you know what? That would fucking fuck her because, you know what? And fuck that cop. He should have cited her. He should have been That's a dickhead cop, he and he should have given her a citation her. because she was not only jeopardizing her safety, she was je- jeopardizing anybody else's safety, and not. And this is what gets me worse than the safety aspect, because you know I'm a piece of shit. It's yeah, the we Im- don't care about safety. It's the impact of my timeliness to my fucking commute to and from <laughs> wherever the fuck I'm going. Because if somebody hit you this bitch in if, the way, if somebody hit this bitch, <laughs> that would back up fucking traffic for fucking hours. And then other than that, other people got to fucking be stuck behind this bitch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, fuck her. She's an asshole. Fucking with your little rascal. Yeah, man. <laughs> this battery just crapped I out. do want one of those, though. Like, Going when I'm old as hell. 15 and a 75. Old lady on the fucking freeway. Fucking asshole. Fuck that bitch, dude. Fuck that bitch. Yeah, man. She didn't just, like... It's not like... She just fell out of the sky in her fucking stupid rascal. She did. She had to get on a fucking ramp. Yeah, she had to go up a ramp. And the whole time... She That's probably what killed her battery was how much effort time, it like, took to get up the ramp. once as she was up going up the ramp, she had to have been like, where the fuck am I? How I wonder if I it was like a silver alert situation. <laughs> <laughs> like she had to turn. She had to go up. She had to merge in. And there wait a minute. One, there wasn't once where she was just like, oh my God. I would like to revisit my Where's fuck this rest? cop brand. Where's the rest of the fucking... Because I would like to say fuck this cop even more if this motherfucker walked a mile and a half down the freeway, furthermore clogging up my traffic on my daily commute because what, he's a cop? Fuck him, this bitch should have got a fucking ticket. I would have fucking had her fucking rascal toad. I would have called her fucking kids. I'd have put a boot on it. I'd put a boot on that fucking rascal. <laughs> like, Both sides. Seriously, man. I'd put a fucking breathalyzer on it. I'd fuck her world up. Put it fucking, put her on house arrest. Yeah. Like, she's You're a fucking menace. You're not anywhere, Grandma. You ain't got no business out of the house, bitch. All right. Time's up. Time's up, ladies boot and gentlemen. Boot that old lady's bitch. Um, bitch at us on whatever our, no don't yeah. find me on the email because I can't even find me on the email I went, we went through this don't email listen us. dude get on the twitter send <laughs> us a tweet let me know that you hate me for fucking pointing out how fucking shitty the military is or the army at least I can say personal experience and um, if you don't like us attack us find us on facebook find us on the streets <laughs> don't find us on facebook there's no facebook I mean, don't attack Brian if he's walking with his kid or something. If this dog's fine. I don't have kids. I mean, if he ever has kids, don't attack his kids. Yeah. But, like, 
if you just see me and Brian walking around and you just don't like us, you know, let us know. Yeah. We're okay with that because we probably won't fucking or like you either. Or just tell us in the comments if you don't like yeah, us. Yeah, fi- fuck with yeah, us. We don't give us. a shit, man. It's we cool. I'm just, you know, yeah. All right. See you next time. Bye.